because you know there's a big difference in a two percent fee and a ten percent fee because we all know that we're not going to gather up a big block of money anyway right i mean i think everybody agrees upon that so it's not about the money it's about the incentives here okay well the motion so i just throw that out there the motion on the floor is to go a whole different direction than what you've just stated so are you now withdrawing that motion and substituting a new motion yes i will okay which would um under the in lieu fees drop it to two percent two percent okay and um, the building and the uh, uh and and all the added comments and then all the rest of the ordinance would move forward yes okay supervisor delmer well I'll, I'll second but then a question if i may mr chairman what about the uh, percentages under the building requirement do those remain the same or are those reduced no, we'd reduce them the same, the, the 2%. Okay. I think, if I may, Mr. Chairman, that, that meets the legal qualifications of a, a mandatory ordinance, also recognizing that we're moving forward to, and part of your motion was to, I still there about the new, the next housing element and seeking a change. In the yeah, which is our 2009 housing element is coming up here only in a month away, so that would be. So the staff is directed then to be. Yeah, and that work. would be the base to start with that. Okay. No, I can I can concur with that. So, Mr. Chairman, there's my second. Okay. Is the clerk clear on the uh, situation? Okay. Um, any further discussion to the motion? I'd like to make sure that staff is clear on what the motion is. Could we re repeat it and see if, if I'm clear? Okay. Um, Madam Clerk, you're going to be able to catch it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the motion is to reduce the in lieu of fees to 2% and direct staff to bring back a strictly voluntary inclusionary housing ordinance in 2009. No. No, not at all. No. That was not it. Supervisor okay. Pinches, reread uh, your thoughts. Well, it, the first part is reduce the fee table schedule to 2%, reduce it from 10%. In lieu fees. In lieu fees. Okay. And basically that adopts, that moves to adopt this ordinance with that change. With the direction that, that when we start the 2009 housing element, that we start, that, that way you're gonna have a base housing ordinance, uh, inclusionary housing ordinance to start with, you'll have a working doc document to start with because that this is what will be adopted. Okay. And, and I guess it's dropping the with. I don't really want to drop the direction of the voluntary because this is whether it's one percent, two percent, or fifty percent. That does away with that. But I'm I'm trying to get a compromise here. And going back to what Supervisor Colfax says, you know. This is a lot of time and effort and staff time about basically nothing, in my opinion. But if we can put it to the 2%, that's certainly going to make the impacts and the disincentives, what I would call them, a lot less. So is little your little help here maybe with a motion. Count, so counsel. is your motion to direct staff to bring back the ordinance on December 9th for a first reading with the proposed change reducing it to the two percent and for staff to consider the other issues that were raised or not consider the other issues that were raised yeah well, well yeah there's been several notes of, of simple changes like like i brought up on i think it's the first or second page about the continuing rise in the cost that certainly has to be changed we've got to know yeah yes okay that was your motion there's clarified supervisor smith i believe well, I would just like to make a comment. I think, Supervisor Pinch, is that, you know, I understand you have concerns and you're trying to come up with some kind of compromise, but I think we're losing sight of that this is the compromise. This is the document that the home builders, the developers, the home providers, the housing advocates, the other community partners have worked months and months on. So I think that this already represents a compromise position. So I, I just think that if we recognize the document as such, which is in fact what I think everyone has said, no one is really happy with it, but they've worked long and hard on it. I, to go in and start changing the percentage, I think, you know, there was, there was actual uh, 
research, there was discussion, there, was, there were some actual tangible components that went into how they came up with the, the percentages. So for us to just start changing the percentages seems to uh, nullify the process. I don't think it respects staff, I don't think it respects the community people that worked on it. And I think that next, next year in 09 we're going to have another chance to deal with this anyway. So I would like to, to go forward with the document as is and uh, you know, have that be the one that's brought back to us. I don't think we should get into reducing the amounts. That's not changing it to a voluntary action anyway. If we start changing amounts, it's just, it, it, it I, I don't know. It just seems like we're not doing it in a very thoughtful and um, uh, purpose-driven manner. It's not about good public policy. We're just, we're trying to come to some kind of compromise. But if we looked at the document as it was stated and uh, as it was brought forward, it was a compromise and it is a compromise document. So I think we ought to just go forward, instruct staff to bring it back as is. We vote it up or vote it down and go forward. And then 09 will be here hopefully very soon. Well, I'm counting on uh, 09 being here very quickly. Um, so, uh, um, just a further comment, real quick. 